Welcome. You're watching the thrift store where dad will be bring Hollywood home on a budget. Even though an Olympian athlete hosted this version and the original version of this game show back in the 90s on Nickelodeon and Nickelodeon Gas, Games and Sports, this is no gold medal winner in terms of its condition. On the front of the box, and definitely on the back of the box. More of a silver medal winner. What really counts is inside. I love watching Figure It Out and Figure It Out Wild Style. All the clues and secrets and questions pertaining to animals with extraordinarily cool talents. I picked up this version from Cardinal, ages 7 and up, for $2.49 and for 50% off. And again, what really counts is inside this box. Even though this is kind of misleading, although it really is not. This is the game instruction sheet for the original Figure It Out, not Wild Style. But I assume it's similar gameplay for both versions because there is a home game version of the original game, the original Figure It Out series. And even though the components list a Billy the Answer Head, you don't get it here. I got Billy the Really Big Answer Elephant, which is kind of cool. I have a lot of question cards here. The components list four blank cards for you to draw your own secrets and clues and secret slime actions. But... You don't get them here either. You just get the question cards. The pink question cards indicate the questions from the original version of Figure It Out, and the green ones are the wild style questions. Every question pertaining to animals. Every answer, really. Turning frogs into obstacle course races. Pet leech drinks through a straw. Trained dog to French braid hair, and finding homes for retired racing grain hounds. And we also have some really cool prize cards. This is the coolest grand prize yet, and of TV to boot. We have first round, second round, and grand prize round prize cards. And a timer, an unusual looking timer, but I kind of like the appearance. And a marker for which you can use to write down Every clue in your six-word secret on Billy, the really big answer elephant. But let's take a look at the uh, game instruction sheet. Components, Billy the answer head or Billy the really big answer elephant. We have the latter. 46 answers, each with two verbal clues and one serrated clue, which you have to act out in the final round. The asterisk here would indicate the serrated clue. One secret slime action listed on the answer card, and one slime action consequence. Now, you don't get slimed here. This would definitely work with Nickelodeon's uh, slime, which you could buy separately. Throughout gameplay, the contestant is watching the panel to see if any of them perform the secret slime action. If the panelist does perform the secret slime action, the contestant yells, SLIME ACTION! The timer is stopped! And the contestant announces the slime adds and consequence that the panelist has to perform. Then the contestant restarts the timer and gameplay continues. So, for example, if I shake my leg. See? If I shake my leg, I have to continue doing that for the rest of the game. We also do not have four blank answer cards for kids to fill in on their own, but we do have. Three prize stats. Well, not really prize stats. It's all completely disorganized. For the first round, second round, and grand prizes. We have a figure it out timer and one crayon. Well, we don't have a crayon, but we do have a marker. And it kind of looks like a Nickelodeon-based marker, but it's not. It's just a generic orange marker. It does have the Nickelodeon uh, slime detailing here, or the splat detailing here. Anyway, separate all cards and arrange the decks of answer cards. First round prizes, second round prizes, and grand prizes. Set up Billy the answer head. Round one. One player is the contestant who picks one answer card from the pile and reads it silently. The timer is turned all the way counterclockwise, and the panel begins asking the contestant only yes or no questions. This is the timer. Like the TV show, the panelist keeps asking questions until he or she gets a no answer. Then play is passed on to the next panelist. Any time a panelist says the word of the answer, the contestant stops the timer and writes that word on Billy the answer head. 
Then the timer starts again. For example, while the pilot says, Kiss. For example, Kiss. And that was one of the words in the secret. By the way, my secret is not going to be animal based. I would write that down here. Let's see if this marker works. Kissed. Oh, look at that. It works. So, kissed down here. Okay. It works, but rather scarcely. That's not cool at all. And it thins out. Yeah, you're going to have to get a different marker with this. Or use the crayon, but crayons are extremely difficult to wash off. So, kissed. You got the gist of it, right? I don't like this marker. If no palace guesses correctly anyone in the secret, then you get to pick a prize from the round one prize deck. So from the round one prize deck, you would pick, let's say for example, these three cool CDs or DVDs, compact discs, which were huge back in the late 90s. That in the early 90s, I believe? Um, gameplay is the same in round two. Once again, if Palace failed to guess anyone in the secret, you get to pick a prize from the second round prize pick. And that would be, let's say for example, this adorable golden retriever. Aww. Round three, the Swain round. And as I said, with this asterisk, you have to act out that Swain. While the panel tries to guess the answer. If time runs out without the panel figuring it out, the contestant has won and gets to pick the on the prize card. Players take turns being the contestant, and this would absolutely be my grand prize, even though it is outdated. So there you go. And let's just say, for instance, if somebody did miraculously guess your entire secret, which scarcely happens on both the original Figure It Out and Figure It Out Wild Style, hosted by Summer Sanders. You have to write that down. I guess you would lose. So, my name, and the name of the person that I hypothetically kissed, even though this marker stinks. Do you see where I'm going with this? Let's see if this can fit. <laughs> Good enough. Pete Sesco kissed Troy and Avery Belisario. Hypothetically! Hypothetically! Don't be calling no lawyers on me! This is a long way to go to explain something that was really cool that happened to me last night. Uh, my friend Linda made a fan fiction about me and Troy and, you know, Spencer Hastings, Pretty Little Elias, the one who I am hopelessly in love with. Yes, uh, it is a private fan fiction, one that I'm not really comfortable sharing right now, but I will find a way to adapt that fan fiction in the future here. Linda is one kick butt PLL pal. If I say kick A, well then Tyler would hate me. The FTC would hate me. You don't have to fine people forty-two thousand five hundred something dollars for violating the act, and that's for individual YouTube videos. One at a time. Ay, ay, ay. Come New Year's Day, when the law is going to be enacted, we're all going to feel extremely sore. In any case, the exciting new board game for kids who love animals. Now you can take home Nickelodeon's hit game show in a box. Players try and fill in the ability to answer out of it by figuring out their friends via talents, crazy adventures, and bizarre accomplishments. There are clues to help you out. And don't forget to watch for the secret slime action for two to six players ages seven and up. This is from 1999. The original game instruction sheet is from 1998. So this has definitely aged in its two decades of existence. And I don't like when people put things with masky tape to wrap them up and uh, secure them because, well, it's so adhesive that it rips off some of the box art. Believe me, I don't like masky tape at all, but this is what you get. I got a marker, no blank cards, and no Billy It's ahead. But, I got no animosity towards this game because it is going to be quite fun for those who love animals. And I give it a respectable form. A fine game no matter what version you buy at the thrift store or anywhere else. It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side. And again, hypothetically, I kissed Troyan. Don't be calling all lawyers on me!